All right, guys, we are continuing this first day, this very first day in Canada, and we just first time in Walmart. It's also a special day, and we just explore all these uh, shops. This is huge, uh, popular American shops, Walmart. So we are keep going and explore the city, and jet lag, jet lag just killing us. We're absolutely tired, want to sleep, but can't sleep. That's behind me is my first bus in Canada. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm just kidding. This is my first bus, this is my first subway. <laughs> but it's funny, I'm just going to to find Canada Post and I just uh, have to make some personal confirmation, personal ID confirmation in Canada Post for my employee. It's quite kind of interesting situation. <laughs> The price of a bus ticket is three dollars, and guys, it's just I'm so happy to be in Canada. Actually, it's right. It's like my my dreams come true. And just for third day, I realized that I'm in Canada. And guys, this is amazing feeling, and uh, I'm sure that everything is gonna be fine. All right, guys, I just got my ID verification in Canada Post, it's some kind of interesting situation um, that I had to confirm my person for my employer so it's like I <laughs> I should confirm that I'm a real person and I should show some kind of my IDs and that good man in Canada Post just print me some recipe bill that confirmed that I'm a real person so <laughs> I didn't see like some, some kind of this uh, previous maybe in Ukraine but yeah okay it's uh, like it's working here and I respect it it's a different country and I respect all rules that I can see here and yeah it's interesting all right guys I just got my second coffee today I know this is kind of huge cup this is this is like how American coffee is actually should like looks like Right, guys, I want to share with you some my thoughts about this terrible experience to Canada. This is immigration experience. Uh, today it's like Tuesday, and I've arrived here with my family on Monday, on this Monday. And by the way, it's, it could be a little, a little noisy because of uh, I've got some kind of utilities behind me. It's like air conditional. Uh, this is. It could be noisy, but I hope if everything is gonna be okay. So guys, for me, it's like absolutely, absolutely insane situation. Uh, that fact that I arrived to Canada and now I, I am able to live here and I'm with my family here, with all my family, my wife, my four, four years old son. It's kind of amazing situation that we are together. And I know a lot of people from Ukraine now can be together. Uh, the people in Ukraine got some kind of di difficulty to go, to go outside to Ukraine and that's why so many families are separate and uh, only only girls, only women, only women can go outside and go to another country and men have to be in Ukraine right now and they can't they can arrive to Canada and be together with, uh, with families and of course it's, it's so difficult that's why I'm so blessed to be in Canada right now uh, with my whole family and you know guys it's like I'm, I'm just a guy from from Ukraine from a small city called Berdyansk this is a city located on the shore of Azov Sea and this so small city where I was born and then uh, I have been living in Berdyansk uh, around 20, 23 years and then I decided to move to move forward and I moved to Kyiv this, this is huge the hugest uh, city in Ukraine Kyiv it's like uh, around six or seven million people in Ukraine in, in Kyiv in one particular city and Great Kyiv area is around maybe seven, eight million people. 
in, 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 in Kiev it's maybe four, four million people and in great Kiev area it's yes, like seven, eight million people. So it's so huge city and I, believe, I have been living in Kiev for 10 years and maybe last, maybe last 10 years uh, I was dreaming about to come to Canada. That was my biggest dream. I, I guess it's the biggest dream I have got, and I, I have done a lot of things to to become these dreams true. And right now I'm in Canada, not exactly the, this way I was dreaming about, but but now actually I'm so happy and I'm so blessed to be here. And uh, this is deep difficult feeling inside me, you know, because I know a lot of people now in, stuck in Ukraine, they want to go outside, they want to maybe start new life and change change her, his li their lives, but for now it's impossible and we're, Ukraine is still under the war, this is like already four months and it's absolutely crazy, absolutely insane situation. That's so difficult to understand how people right now feel in Ukraine. Uh, I moved. I moved from Ukraine this February, uh, 20, 24 February, uh, exactly when the war was started, and I've seen it. My I've seen this how it looked like this war, but uh, this is not similar to what people in Ukraine now experienced and they are able to see right now in Ukraine is absolutely terrible things right now happening in Ukraine and it's guys it's so so terrible situation and what I am dream that uh, no one in the world will see something like that uh, something like Ukrainian people looking right now and feeling right now this huge level of scared and it's absolutely terrible but i had i have to move forward i have to leave father and i have to build my new life in canada i have to i have to live according to my dreams and that's what i'm just doing right now and um, God, it's uh, it's amazing. It's amazing that my dreams come true, guys. Uh, right now, I'm just drinking this this coffee. I'm sitting on the backyard in some kind of home uh, in city called Mississauga. This is Ontario, and then I'm going to live in Toronto because I've got uh, some offer I've, as a web developer, and I'm going to work in Toronto. But right now, this is uh, the place where I'm staying for the first time, for the very first time in Canada. And so good people around here, so good men hosted us here. It's like Airbnb, but uh, the man who who holding this house is amazing. He met a man and a good man, good person. Yeah, just uh, I want to left this place, this backyard. This is my first ho my first home. I just want to left uh, this place on this particular uh, video this is maybe my first vlog actually i don't want i don't know how to how to name this vlog uh, maybe maybe it will some kind of my first my first uh, week in canada something like that or because not first day because first day it was absolutely crazy i was under the jet lag and for now, actually, I'm uh, impacted by uh, jet lags. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, time difference around six hours between Poland and Canada, and uh, seven hours between uh, Poland, between Ukraine and Canada. Hey yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being with me this whole time. And actually, guys, uh, stay tuned. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to make in some vlog from my life, from Canada life, and I'm going to show you something, my maybe my private part of my life, and uh, maybe in a few months, 
or next month I'm going to make some video about my training because uh, this channel called you can all but the main topic is like like training like like to properly training uh, to get uh, your body which you dreaming a lot of time and get this body natural so this is like kind of main topic but uh, I guess for the next month um, it will a lot of vlogging and I hope you interested in that and guys see you soon guys what I'm what I'm absolutely can't understand that why people exactly after arriving to Canada start starting buying some uh, Canadian goods with Canadian symbols it's absolutely ridiculous for me I I just I just can't understand why why they they are doing this it's like absolutely weird situation for me guys don't do that please don't do this please okay Black Spear. She lives on this tree, exactly on my particular backyard. This is this is home where I'm staying right now. It's like typical American stores right here. And in front of me you can see the Dollarama store, it's like so popular here, cheap store for buying some things. Right, guys, after having my morning breakfast, it's Tim Hortons. Actually, it's, uh, it's a good one. Uh, actually, I, s I should say here, I should say here that uh, it will be maybe end of this vlog. It's my first vlog. It's my first Canadian vlog, and the next I'm going to make already in Toronto after renting some apartment. So for now, as I said, we are staying on an Airbnb hostel. Uh, Airbnb ho hostels. Airbnb home, no? No, it's Airbnb. As I said before, and now we are staying at Airbnb home. And yeah, it should be maybe end of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Leave your please your comments below after this video. Uh, below in this video in the comment section below. And give me a thumbs up if you like it. And I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys. Three dollars is like a price, the bus prices by sticking that dirt. It hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it hard to commit, but you don't even try. Still, I'm better with and without you. Oh. You don't need a kill